Welcome back to a brand new episode of Rise and World with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Today, I want to hop into my world and I'm going to go ahead and play with friends, but I'm not going to be on here all day. It's just going to be for a little bit. And you know what? Let's just open it up and not worry about play with friends. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to finish up the front porch and I also have to go outside in real life and I have to cut my grass. So... Today's video is going to be a little bit short. Let's just finish up this front porch. Hopefully it doesn't take long. And we should be okay. I'm going to finish this up with you guys. You know, build the stairs going up to it. And so and so. Looks like we're just chilling in our bedroom. What in the world game is called Tropico? Don't know. Don't care. Alright. Let's just... Yeah, computer, stop. What is going on? Okay, I don't know. Let me hit F6 here just for a moment. Alright, we're just recording barely at, uh, what the heck? Um... Okay, did Ryzen World get an update recently, or what in the world is this? Okay. What in the... Oh, there's my baby piggy. Did Rising World get an update recently or what? Um, let me go get a rake. Give that thing a quick update. Um, guys, I don't know if Rising World just got an update recently or not, but that is a little bit disturbing. I got some stuff and things I need to put away. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am not sure if Rise and World got an update recently or not, but uh, I did. I took a fly around. Um, I can't seem to find my rake, but I just went into creative mode and I removed those thingamabobbers because that's the only way you can remove them. Um, I'm confused on this one. I really, I am. I am totally confused. <laughs> I'm not sure if this game got an update recently or not. I definitely need to finish off this porch today. Shut up, Mr. Snake. Um, yeah, we definitely need to finish off this snake here. My goodness, I think... Okay, let's try something. All right, we're going to go into settings. I want to turn on water reflections. This is probably going to kill my computer. Um, and let's see what this looks like. All right, let me hit F6 here for a moment. What's that do to my FPS? Uh, single digits on the FPS. You know what? It's not half bad, though. Really, it's not. Um, maybe this snake being stuck inside this tree could be a reason. Shush up. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Yeah, we hear you. <sighs> okay, so we need a custom staircase on here. Uh, these wood beams number 89 are the ones that we use to frame this thing in Let's go ahead and see what we can do with these things today About making a custom, you know Thing on here. All right now the first thing I want to do with this is I also need to bring it up onto here and Let's get up here so we could actually All right Let's shrink this down just a wee little bit. Let's go ahead and hit that grid on that and shrink that thing the whole way up. And we're going to do shift and do one of these. Bring that down just a wee bit more. All right, let's plus that thing. Make it sizable so it actually looks normal and it's OSHA compliant. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's do that same exact thing right here. Make it OSHA compliant. There we are. I need one more. 
All right, that can attach right there. Um, preferably just right there. All right, let's get this one in the center. Let's bring it over. And it looks like we need a wee bit more of this. What is this? Wood beam 89. All right, let's go get some more of that. Could use herself a little bit more of a stack. I'm not sure what was going on with that. I think it's because of the things I spawned into the world. I just went around and destroyed those things. Um, just so they aren't there all the time. Do we have any... Um... You know what? We'll just use this. Um, go to crafting, general, resources, lumber, max, boom. All right, we're good. Yeah, we should be good. All right, let's go over here. This is wood beam 89. And let's just do, let me see here. Do max. Get me a stack of 64 of those. Stop spinning and bring me in. Now, I thought about putting these white picket ones on here. We still could, but I don't know. Who wants a white picket fence? <laughs> this one right here. Which number are you? Number 70. Okay. And that number 70 we'll use for a railing. We got a pet snake outside, guys. We need to come up with a name for this snake. We need to come up with a name for him. You know, he's always here. He's just stuck in the tree. We've been shooting arrows at him. Oh, poor snake. He's stuck in the tree. We got to name him, guys. We have to name him. Um, all right, let's see here. We got, let's bring up that grid. All right, whoop. All right, we got to move that one around. Will this go the right way this time? Yes, it will. Awesome. Let's see if we can pull this one the whole way through. No. All right, we'll just stop it right there then. And there we go. Bring this one across like so's. That should work. If What would one more do to it? It would just put it inside, and that wouldn't feel right. Okay. Um, I want the uh, I want the um, stairs to kind of come up over here on this side right here because we have the sign right there. So why would we block that, you know? So let's see here. We'll put one. Stop it. If we do two here... What can we do over here? How, how big would this be? I think it would be just enough. You know, do two and two. And then right over here, we could run this right in. That looks good. All right, let's get these things out of our hand and down here. These ones, I want to... Put it like right on top. And if I hit the grid button on this, it's going to do that. But if I hit the plus on it, it'll bring it above. Hit it again, it'll drop it down below. Yeah, grid might not be the best idea for this. All right, let's go ahead and turn that grid off. We're going to have to do this one manually. Don't like doing these manually, but we might just have to. All right, let's go ahead and shrink this into a block size. Turn it into a block at least first. All right, let's see here. What do we got to do? Shrink it. Whoop. There you go. Perfect cube. Okay, is that the same size as this? 
Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna lock this in control in here with uh, control. And no, let's unlock it. Um, that needs shrunk. Big time, that needs shrunk. Let's bring this across here then. Line it up. All right, let's just bring it across just for right now. All right, we may need to adjust the size of this. Now, how I'm going to do this one is I'm going to hold on to the grid right here. No, not the grid, the uh, control key. And now I can, I can shimmy it in to about right there. And let's turn that control key off. Let's bring this one over here and we'll do that same exact thing for right here as well. Control. All right, let's see if we can get this thing lined up right. And no, it's not in there exact. All right, there we go. I should be able to push it forward. We got it right there. Bingo. All right. Now we can turn that control thing off and you can see this thing. It's all uh, nice and dandy. It's imperfect. It looks nice. Um... I also want to come across this bottom right about in here, if that would be possible. There we go. And that gives us the illusion that it's, it's not just sitting there on its own. It actually looks nice. I actually like that. Um, we might need to get more of these. All right, let's see if we can get this in here first off. All right, I hit control for this one. I'm going to do this. All right. And if I, nope, 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 nope. All right, what does right and left do? Uh, it just moves it around. Okay, let's unlock that. And let's F2 down. You can see how this thing comes across about right about there. All right, we're going to go ahead and let's get over here where we can actually work with it. Oh, come on, game. Stop working against me. All right, let's move this thing over here. And in just a wee bit further. Just to make it look good. All right, pull that out of my hand. And we also might want to unlock control. All right. Get up, get up. All right, we got to take a nap, and we'll come back here and finish off the rest of that and get a roof on it. I like this. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I don't seem to, I don't have a clue what that glitch was about. Um, let's go take a nap and...
see what happens and turn my headlamp off because it looks like we need another stack or so of wood beam 70 for this just to finish it off ah I gotta get another cup of coffee. My mouth was getting dry. <laughs> All right, let's go get another copy of this. And now that I know what happened to my baby pig, he's just stuck back here. Look at him, aww. That's our baby piggy. That's baby Wilbur. Well, that's that's Wilbur's. Um, no, Wilbur is a dude. Um, we need a a hog is the male. Yeah, a hog is the male equivalent of a pig. Um, let's see here. We needed more of this. That ought to work. All right, and. All right, crafting, lumber, max, 128. That'll give me two stacks for this. Um, wood beam, ID 70, max, max, thank you. And let's go finish off the inside this porch. It looks good right here on the front. I like how we did this because it adds a little bit of an illusion that it's Good. Um, let's finish this up first. Okay. Let's finish up this first. All right. First things first is let's increase the length of this thing. To its max potential. Hit the control key. Let's back off. All right. You can see it is eye level with this, but this one over here, these things look like they're not in place. So let's hit the down on this one. Well, let's move it in first. which would probably be the proper thing. Make sure this thing is lined up and we're gonna shrink it because this side over here isn't exactly the right size. So let's unlock that with control and let's try to get this thing in place. Like right about here is where I want it. Oh, please stop the bouncing. Did we do that over here? No, that I want this up higher. Which means we might have to, yeah, we might have to fix these ones over here because they're not in line and they look like they're not long enough and that confuses me, but at the same time, it works. Let's go ahead and is it even straight? Yeah, it is. Huh. All right. Don't know. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this thing the whole way down again. This time we're just going to use the uh, arrow keys while it's locked in place. That way we can keep the banister at the same exact length. So if any of these other ones need moved around, we can move them around.
And as you can see, as I'm doing this, if we look over there and just watch, you can see... that it's in place now because you can pretty much see it coming through before I don't know why these other boards aren't in line but I do kind of I find that kind of strange that they're not in line the rest of these guys they are not sure what's going on with the rest of it maybe the porch is stooping a little bit Nah, I don't know. But we'll have to fix that. Now the roofing tile, I think that is going to be... Uh... Okay, here, if you look over here in the corner, this thing is already... Well, it looks like it's in, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it wasn't in. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's just do that, and we'll place it right there. Let's unlock control, and we're going to flip this board around this way. Again, try to get it in place, same as the other one. Okay, now I do not want this thing poking its way into the house, so I got to come over here and take a look at it. Looks good. All right, let's bring it over. Now we won't have to worry about it poking into the house. I want to make sure this side is actually in and not floating out like it is right there. So let's just, there we go. All right, now let's unlock that with control one more time. And let's pull this all out. No, I'm going to need to get this, and I'm going to have to yoink all of these. Because they're not in line. It's a shame that you only get one back. Because you do put a lot of stuff into this, but at the same time, it's like, ah, seriously? Well, porch looks good. Let's, uh, I'm going to take the time here, guys, put the rest of these things in, and I will be right back. Ah, all right, guys, I got the railing done. It took a little bit of time for me to get that out of the way, and... I'm going upstairs right now. I'm just taking myself a brief nap. Well, of course, we're just going to fly off the bottom. I hate how those things didn't transfer over. I did have a railing in there, and it didn't transfer over. I may have, I may not have. I don't know. I would have to look back at my first series on the channel to take a look at it. Do, ba -do, -do, ba -do, -do, ba -do, -do. All right, so I'll still show you guys what I got done on this. Um, the railing, as you can see, it looks good. It's done. Um, I do not have the uh, thing that goes across the bottom. I had to remove that. Everything else on here, though, it looks good. Now we have to build a custom staircase to come on top of this thing. And I'm thinking I want to use this same exact material, which is right here. Wood plank ID69. Now I want that as a wood beam. Okay. I want that as a wood beam. And I also need to grab myself a little bit extra of this 89 as well. So let's go grab ourselves some wood beams. 
and we need ourselves let's just say a stack or so of this and let's go to tab let's go to crafting turn it all into lumber and let's just get this out of my hands all right i need wood beam 69 probably about two stacks of it no one stack 69 we're going to go to 69 Let's get ourselves one stack of that. Let's. We got some wood planks for ID69. Let's get ourselves one. No, we don't need that many. Um, you know what? We already have some, right? Don't we? Inventory. Yeah, we got 55 of those. We got more than enough um, if we wanted to use it. And plus, we got this this stuff right here. All right, so we got wood beams of that. We need ourselves an extra stack of these. Let's, because we only got 15 of them left. That's 89. So wood beam, 89. Get me a stack of those. Now I'm also going to consider the roof. Okay, because those are the two things right there we're going to be using. Now, the roof itself, I'm going to go up here to the wood planks. And we're going to take a good look at these things together. And this dark one, I think we're kind of using that at the moment. Because I'm thinking of putting wooden shingles on the roof. You know, something that has a little bit of a contrast. Something that will uh, stick out. Uh, no, this is plywood. That's what that looks like to me. Hmm. Enough of that. Let's take a look inside the block bench. All right, these are the different types of wood. This one right here looks ideal, which is ID 61. 64 looks like it would make a good roof and towel, though it would be kind of like, nah. 67. You know, let's go ahead and do that because it's inside of here already and I don't have to spawn it in. Alright, so let's grab this, let's grab this, let's go upstairs, let's grab our plywood. Which should be inside of here. Ah, oh, here it is, right there. Plywood. Alright. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to get the front porch done. So I need the staircase that goes up to it. Now, usually people would use blocks, get the custom look to it and all that stuff and things. But I want to do this differently. So we got these. And I'm thinking... Yeah, let's bring this out here. I'm thinking I want to start probably about here. Let's make that thing a little bit wider because I want to be able to add a little bit something else to this. I'm going to hit the control key on this one so that I can move it around. Nope, stop moving that. All right. Um, yeah, right about there. Yeah, that should work out right about there at that spot. All right, now what if I move this down? I can't. Okay, so let's 
get rid of that control key and we go into do 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 okay I need to prop this up bring it down some make sure it's only sunk in and let's see if we can bring this to the edges a little bit yeah right about there So that it's kissing and it's actually a part of it. F2. Let's get down here so we can get a closer eye on this. So we can see what's going on. Okay, back out. Alright. I can see right off the bat this one did not aim up just perfect. Um, let's go ahead. Let's bring this in. I don't know what's up with that one. It's not it's not sticking in for me. Not as good as that one did. Uh-huh. Let's see here. How does that look now? Perfect. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Let's get out of this. Let's hit F2. And I'm going to try to bring this thing across, make it the same exact length as the other one. I might have to hit control for this. There we go. All right, let's go ahead. Let's bring this out once more. Now that it is the same exact height, I actually want this thing to... All right, I need a placeholder block. Something I could just yoink out later on. F2, let's get down here, make us a little bit more technical, if you guys know what I mean. All right, making sure it's nice and perfect. It's aimed up. Cool. All right, so we might need another one down below here soon or more than later. So let's go ahead. Let's place ourselves one inside of that. And let's F2 down. All right, so now we can actually start to work with this a wee bit better. All right, let's get this piece in. Because this is for the next step. I'm going to hit the control button on this so that I can we can see what's going on. All right, let's zoom in on that. All right, and there we go, right about there. All right, now stairs usually aren't made like this. Really, they're not. All right, what they usually have is a slat on them, and we can put a slat on this. So what I want to do is I want to bring this thing out using a control key. Make sure it's nice and put together like so. All right, and let's turn that control key off one more time. And let's F2 down here. Get it in place. Control. Yes, same exact height. And now we want this thing to come out towards me. Let's do it one more time. And notice how none of this is being done in creative. 
That's important to know. All right, let's turn the control key off. Now, once again, we're going to make ourselves a... This is the bottom step. All right, what's we, what we want to do this time is we're going to go ahead, we're going to line this up with it just one more time. I think that's the edge, is it? Yes, it is. But what I needed to do is go down. And it doesn't look like it is the same size. It looks like we messed with it a little bit. All right, let's see if we can fix that. Again, we're going to hit that control key. Not that one. Bring it in. It looks good. Shimmy that to the left. Oops. I uh, did not mean to do that. That's okay. And let's get up here to the surface. Let's look down at this one more time. No, see, that's not the right size. Bring it in. All right, let's go ahead and bring this piece in here. Make sure it's okay. You know, in line. And now we could use something like this for making a sidewalk if we wanted to. Which should work. Let's go ahead and hit enter so that thing stops flickering. Let's grab our crowbar. And let's get down here and see where we messed up at. Okay, this one right here. All right, and we can see now that it is not attached. I'm okay with that. I am. I am perfectly okay with that. Let's... All right, we got a board underneath here first off that we use for a placeholder. Let's get these placeholders out. Staircase looks okay. It looks like it is in line with the road and everything. So, all right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get a little bit of water down our throat. You know what? It's just a little, sometimes it works a little bit better just to come down here and get some, get some water, you know? There we goes. Love this. S seriously, we didn't, give me, a, fill me up. All right. <laughs> Looks good. It looks good. And I just thought of something, guys. This would pretty much just be the bottom step, right? Well, let's try something. Seeing as that is ID 70 and this is ID 70. All right, let's try something. Uh, let's use one. Um, I think the control key is active. Yes, it is. All right. No, it's not. Okay, I don't know what that was all about then. Please tell me I don't have to reboot just for this to work. All right, fine. Hit the control key. Ah, okay. I see. I had to press enter for that. I was wondering what was up with that. Let's go ahead and shrink this down here a bit. Let's bring it inside. And... We're going to use these as kind of like a step. Okay, so I want this to overhang on this side just a wee bit. All right, let's go ahead. Let's raise the length of it. So it sticks out a little bit on both sides. 
we could do that same exact thing up here. And now up here on the surface, you can see where the last step is, right? So you come up, you got your first step, you got your second step. Let's go ahead, let's get this one in there just right. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so this bottom step piece that I put in down here, I want to see if I yoink this out, if we can still walk up it. Yes, we can. So what we can do now is we could use this part down here for building a sidewalk that might come over this way or anything like that. We could build a sidewalk for this, yes. It looks good. It doesn't look like crap. And I kind of like it. It's a bit different because we're using wood and stuff and things like that. But now, because all of this right now can now be considered placeholders, we can actually remove all of these blocks right here and build a and fill it in with cobblestone or whatever. But I want to leave it this way because it's a log cabin home. Um, last thing but not least, let's check out this roof. Let's hit F2. All right, and we're gonna shed some light on this subject. I want to see exactly how far we can get this in. I know this thing goes wider than this. But everything has to come with its problems. Okay. Let's hit control on this and actually drop down and take a look at it. Not bad. It just kind of fits itself in. Alright, so... Take a look at it from this angle. Make sure it's stuck to the house. All right, let's look at it from down here then. If we move it up. No. All right, let's move it over then. And now we can just bring this thing the whole way over and just fill it in. I'll be back. All right, guys. I got the roof in and wow, I can surprise how hungry I am. So the roof is pretty much at this point, it's just some plywood and it's being supported by these beams. Now these beams, they come down through here. Um, we could possibly put some supports in the walls up here, but I'm not too keen on doing that at the moment. I was thinking it would be interesting, you know, because as we come over here, wow, yeah, that railing does seem a bit high. It does seem a bit high, but at the same time, it's designed to keep, yeah, um... I might have to redesign that. I don't know. I kind of like it this way. It's it's neat. It gives you a little bit of perspective. And if you actually think about it in the winter time, you could just cover all this with plastic and have, yeah, we could do that guys. Whenever winter comes, I think we can cover some of the front porches of these houses with plastic. This thing, it looks kind of neat in the, between the railing and the opening right there, it does seem a little bit uh, too childish proof if you ask me, but uh, when you come over this way, it actually looks relatively decent. Yeah, sure the railing seems a bit high. We could adjust that at some other point in time, but let's see here. What kind of beam, what color beam is that over there? This is one, that would be ID 89. What is this? All right. So what I was thinking we could do with these, all right, is I wanted to shrink them down first off. 
to the same size as those ones. And I was thinking we could put like a short one, like maybe like right here on the edge, keep it in line with that one right there. Yeah, basically just to keep it in line with that. I'm hoping that zoom... Yeah, I had to place these free, so... Let's do one there. And zoom. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, roughly about the same spot. Again, just keep it zoomed in so we can get the uh, spot right. And then just take these. And we can just do something kind of like this with them. Though we probably should have put this in first. Dang it. it. Feels like the rotation is messed up on this. I don't know. I'm going to end this video, guys. We've been at this for almost an hour, and I got some grass to cut outside. We can figure this portion out at a later time because I think I need to put one right here. I want to try to center this one here and one here as well. But at the same time, you can still get up the porch and onto it off of it looks good is my headlamp on yes it is but it looks good guys we have to finish up the entirety of the roof um i think i'm gonna put a porch light right here maybe i'll add a white little circle circular flat thing here actually we can do that right now real fast i'll show you guys what i'm thinking of doing all right so if we open up this block bench, you usually get this circular thing right here, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to go to stone. No, not stone. I want to go to, let's see here, concrete. Nope. Um, plaster, plaster, plaster. Plaster ought to work out nicely. Yeah. Start off with something a little bit bright white like this. Let's go ahead and let's go upstairs real fast and grab a little bit of stone. And I'll show you guys what I want to do. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Now, I don't know why I just grabbed that. Let's see here. Um, Alright, this is... I need... Okay, it would be... I. This is going to be item... Wood cylinder one. No, let's go ahead and do like six of these, and that would 143. Wood cylinder not found. Oh, it will be wood log. What am I thinking? And then bring this thing over here and 
there you go all right so now we got these things right here all right now these things there are a little bit different all right for where i want to put the lamp post in i am first off going to want to shrink this thing as far down as it possibly can go that way whenever we put the lamp post in it actually looks nice all right let's flip this thing onto its side i want this thing to grid into the house preferably what about with gr g a uh, yeah you know what i think that should work right there now if we remove this and we put a light post right on this, it now will look like it actually has something to be mounted upon instead of just floating on the siding itself. And if you actually look at this, it looks as if it's cut in, it goes into the wall. And if you were to come inside the house, I could use a poster to add a light switch inside of here, which we'll say we'll put one right here two of them possibly one for like a garbage disposal and one for the lamp outside not sure but uh, leave you guys comments your suggestions be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the flip side check you guys later